Hello everyone, what is up? And welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Katie. I live in Orlando. I make all shopping and shop with me videos, home decor and DIY home decorating videos. And I cannot even believe it is that time again. Time for part one of my 2022 Christmas Decorate With Me series. And today we are in my living room for a living room Christmas Decorate With Me. I'm gonna be sharing tons of cozy Christmas decor, neutral Christmas decor with a ton of Christmas DIYs. We're gonna be decorating my Christmas tree. If you need Christmas decorating ideas, this is the channel for you. If you are excited, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button down below and the notification bell. I have another Christmas decorating video going live next week. And over the last few weeks, I've been sharing a ton of Christmas decor shopping videos. And yesterday I shared a massive Christmas decor haul. So if you're wanting to see where a lot of these items are from, I will leave that video for you guys linked down below. With all of that being said, we're gonna hop right into my Christmas decorate with me video. Part one of my Christmas decorate with me series. I just can't even believe it's that time. Let's get into it. I wanted to go ahead and show you what our home looks like right now. So it's very bare right now and that is because I just took down all of my Halloween decor. I am decorating very shortly after Halloween so it didn't make sense for me to put back my normal everyday decor in the interim. And I know that people always have lots of things to say about neutral home decor and people who decorate their house very neutrally like I do. But I love it because it just gives me such a good base to work off of. I can add in all of my seasonal touches and take them away very easily. Speaking of easy, I feel like the easiest way to transform a room is with throw pillows. So first I just wanted to take out all of the ones that I knew for sure I was replacing with Christmas pillows. Just left a lot of my super neutral pillows and browns. I did buy an overwhelming amount of Christmas pillows this year, which you are going to see in my Christmas decorating series overall. But I also had a couple of these pillow covers that I got on clearance last year at Joann's. Pillow covers are great if you don't have the room to store full pillows in between holiday seasons. If you have a little bit of room, you can always um, store your pillows in the vacuum seal bags. I use those, but if you wanna just go as small as possible, they do have awesome pillow covers. You can find great ones on Amazon or at stores like Hobby Lobby, Joann's, or just buying pillows with removable covers. You can always just store the covers and get rid of the pillow inserts in between seasons. Another really easy decorating hack that is super affordable is changing out prints in your frames by purchasing digital downloads on Etsy. If you have never tried this hack, it is one that I absolutely swear by. I feel like you can make really expensive artwork for super cheap. I got these two prints from Walgreens. I did purchase them on Etsy for under $10 for a set of three prints, but I only ended up using two. And then you just print them out at your local Walgreens. They always have tons of of coupons that you can use and I got my two poster size prints for under $20. I decided to go with these really cool Christmas patents so like a slate patent and a Christmas tree patent. I just thought they were so cool and I loved the vintage vibe of them. It's a little bit of trial and error because you want to make sure of course that they line up properly with the matting and then I always like to make sure I go ahead and tape them down so that they are super secure in there but it's a really really easy process to change them out and you have have two completely new pieces of artwork that go with whatever theme you are trying to decorate for. And in my case, this time it was Christmas. I have had big plans for this blanket ladder. Ever since I purchased it, I always knew exactly how I wanted to decorate it for Christmas, so I'm super excited that now is finally the time. 
I knew that I wanted to put bells and hang our stockings from it because we don't have a traditional mantle and I saw one of my favorite bloggers Aubrey Swan blog did this last year so I added on first these little bells they are from hearth and hand I talked all about them in my 2022 Christmas decor haul that I will link down below for you guys and Aubrey she taught me this little hack that you actually use zip ties to attach the stockings to the bars of the blanket ladder and I did decide to leave my blanket on the ladder because I wanted to cultivate a very very cozy environment in our living room and I felt like the gold would just be a little bit too cold for the look that I was going for so I decided to leave a blanket on but you can do however you want to your preference as you can see there is a B stocking for Brian a K stocking for Katie and another stocking with a B on it is that for the baby's name? Is that just for baby? You guys are gonna have to wait just a little bit longer to find that out. My decorating, I always talk about it being a ton of trial and error, and I actually found three space bags full of Christmas pillows from years past that I had been searching for. I knew that I absolutely did not throw them away, but I could not find them. And Brian finally remembered that we stored them under the stairs with the Christmas trees, which totally makes sense. But with my pregnancy brain, I just could not seem to find them. So glad that I did. I was able to add some of my old holiday pillows in that I absolutely loved to create the couchscape of my dreams. Speaking of Christmas trees and things hidden under the stairs, it was time to dig out my Christmas tree. This is our under the stairs closet where we keep like our shoes and stuff and then it kind of like goes under in an L shape and all of our trees fit perfectly over there. Don't be counting the boxes of how many trees I'm dragging out. I have a lot of Christmas trees and I equate that to that I have a lot of Christmas spirit. I just love having a tree in like every single room, but that giant body bag looking one is my nine foot king of Christmas tree that I love so much. I have several trees from them. I think they are the absolute best quality trees that you can buy if you are into artificial trees and I always recommend them. I have three really different trees from them. So throughout my Christmas decorating series, you'll get to see a wide range of the different trees that they sell, but they definitely have something for everyone everyone. to go ahead and give you a little pro tip something that I learned the hard way so I want to save you the trouble when you are purchasing an artificial tree that is rather large mine is nine feet you want to be really mindful of the size of the base when you're looking for a tree skirt or a collar I purchased this beautiful beautiful tree collar from crate and barrel but I had to order it specially because it is made for oversized trees I did originally buy a smaller gold tree collar that did not fit and it just didn't dawn on me that a big tree would have a big base. So I just wanted to give you that little helpful tip. And if you notice how when I'm plugging the different parts of my tree into each other, that is the King of Christmas signature power pole. It is so nice, you just have to plug in the tree and then as you put the tree together, it just like instantly lights up. That's one of the many features I love about these trees. This video is not sponsored, I just really, thoroughly enjoy my king of christmas trees this one i also really love because it is a quick shape tree so it kept a lot of its shape from last year so i didn't have to fluff it too too much it honestly looks really really good straight out of the bag but i did of course give it a little bit of a fluff just to kind of like fill in spots they do also provide a glove when you get a new tree that you can wear um, while you fluff the trees just to avoid any scratching but yeah i just love my king of christmas tree i can't say enough good things
Moving on to a project I'm so excited to finally tackle and it is mounting the sound bar underneath the TV. In all of my decorating videos, I have talked about how I just hate how the sound bar is on the entertainment center. It's such an eyesore and you guys were all super nice to let me know that they sell these brackets on Amazon and they were super cheap. This bracket I think was like under $25, probably less than that. They had so many different ones to choose from, but I just always like to go with like the Amazon choice like the one that has the most reviews it was pretty easy to do there was a lot of trial and error but that's mostly because Brian doesn't really love to read the instructions and also because our TV is already mounted and technically the bracket is supposed to go where our wall mount already is but we were able to make it work it has all of these different like adjustable brackets so you're able to space it out depending on where it needs to be attached to the bottom of your sound bar but long story Story short it was a pretty easy project super worth the little time that it took to do it and I'm so happy because now I finally have the full top of my entertainment center open for decorating I wanted to show you that I laid out all of my decor, I emptied out all of my totes and all the things I purchased this year and put it out on a table so I'd have like one central area to pull from. I just feel like it made it easier for me to know what I actually had left. And then I also want to tell you guys, this is where my brutal honesty that you guys know and love me for is going to come in. I had a game plan for this entertainment center. I had a vision, some might say, um, and it was a complete and total fail as you're about to see I wanted to leave these clips in so that you can see my entire decorating process but my plan was to do all of my like naked nutcrackers I have probably like 50 of them at this point combined with this Christmas village and I let Brian kind of like take the wheel on it because I was starting to get frustrated and I do love the way that it turned out looking as you're going to see but I just think that the entertainment center is too big of a space so i do still want to make this little village the way that brian set it up but just on a smaller space so that it doesn't look like it's missing out i don't know let me know all of your thoughts down below but you get to watch the entire process happen right here <music> I think that it looks really, really cute. I just feel like it's too big of a space, but like I said, let me know your thoughts down below. I decided to put all of the pieces back into the box so that nothing got damaged or lost because there are a lot of little pieces. This set is from Hobby Lobby if you guys are interested in it. And here you will see that I kind of go back to my tried and true decorating method on this entertainment center, which I wish I would have kind of like pushed out of my comfort zone a little bit more. I feel like I definitely did, but I also wasn't used to having the middle of the console table open so it was just a new challenge but I feel like if you are a type of person where decorating kind of stresses you out I recommended this in my Halloween decorate with me but if decorating stresses you out just look at the home accents that you already have and when you go shopping specifically buy items to change out for your normal decor items and that is a really foolproof way to incorporate like holiday or Christmas home decor it doesn't have to be Christmas this works for Halloween Valentine's Day any holiday that you are trying to decorate for just think about the accents that you already have and buy items very intentionally to take their place that is a foolproof way to decorate I 
I feel like this year more than ever I put a lot of pressure on myself with my decorating which is not great because decorating is supposed to be fun it's not supposed to be stressful and I feel like most of the time if you are looking at something with a really critical eye it's best to just kind of walk away give it a few minutes and come back with a fresh set of eyes and I promise it will look way different to you than it did before you walked away I was just really tough on myself because we were hosting my baby shower actually at our home all of our friends and family or most of our friends and family live out of state and they are so wonderfully flying in to join us to celebrate our baby and we're going to be hosting the baby shower at our home so I just wanted it to look extra perfect. So after a ton of tinkering, I feel like I finally got it right. I decided to add some cozy elements like the pom-poms and the Sherpa dog stockings and I just absolutely love the way it came out. I love how I was able to incorporate some thrifted finds like those old Christmas books and then newer finds like these beautiful coasters from the Nordstrom Rack. They have such great Christmas decor. I feel like nobody goes shopping there and if they do they're always really focused on the clothes. Definitely check out the Christmas decor next time you are at the Nordstrom Rack. I feel like they have items that a lot of other people aren't going to have and they're great quality. Brian and I were so happy to be able to decorate the tree together this year. Last year, I'm going to be completely honest, I kind of lost sight of what Christmas was all about. I got really focused on making the perfect Christmas decorating video and didn't really give him the opportunity to help and it just made me so sad after the fact that we didn't get to do it together. So this year, I wanted to make sure that we got to do it together and share a little bit of that process with you. I used a lot of the same Christmas decorations that I used last Last year and these very special ornaments that we picked up on our Christmas trip to Charleston last year. If you're new here and you didn't know, it's Brian and I's favorite city in the entire world. So we each wanted to take a turn putting on these special ornaments we picked up last year. I absolutely love our tree. We keep things super neutral but with a lot of metallic pops, lots of like snowflakes. We also have some felt flowers from Hobby Lobby. I did end up reusing a lot of my items from last year and the finishing touch is Brian putting the star on the top of our tree. We're so excited for all of the family traditions that we're going to get to start and we are starting early this year by decorating our tree together. And there you have it, a look at my Christmas decor in my living room for 2022. I really hope that you guys enjoyed today's Christmas Decorate With Me. I'm going to have so many other Christmas Decorate With Me videos coming up in the next few weeks, so definitely be sure that you subscribe. I love all the little details. I feel like it is the perfect amount of Christmas decor for our living room. I wanted there to be a lot, but not too much, if that makes sense. And I'm just really happy with how it came out. I also wanted to let you guys know that there are two really big hints on the baby's name in this Decorate With Me video, and I'm excited to hear your guesses down below. Well, alrighty, you guys, there you have it. There is part one of my 2022 Christmas Decorate With Me series. I cannot wait to hear all of your thoughts down below. I can't wait to hear what was your favorite part, what you think about the baby name hints. I'm so excited to hear all of your guesses down below. I love you all so much. Thank you for decorating with me today. I have so many more Christmas decorating videos and Christmas shopping videos to come so if you haven't yet be sure to give this video a thumbs up hit the subscribe button down below and the notification bell so you don't miss all of my upcoming videos i love you all so much and i'll see you next time bye